Half turn to your right. That's your left. Don't you know you're right from your left? Kid's a regular brain surgeon. Well, I did my best. Well, she's all wrong. That's all right. We'll fix it. First, we gotta get rid of that makeup. But that's the way you usually want them. Well, this time, it's different. See, there's this state senator who's been real good to St. Nick during this last investigation. And the state senator just happens to have a thing for uh, young girls. Sweet young girls. It's called Happy Birthday, Senator. Just fine, honey. I warned you. I told you to leave my sister alone. I'm taking her out of here now. Come on, butterfly. Hey, hold it right there, kid. Melinda, hit the house lights. You. I told you to stop making waves, didn't I? St. Nick owns you and all those other hunks of meat out there on the boulevard. And since I speak for St. Nick... Wrong. St. Nick doesn't own me. Or my sister. Not anymore. Because I found out who your boss is. The real St. Nick. Wouldn't the world love to know that respectable Mr. Law and Order civic leader is really king of the pimps? you got a big mouth. And it can get bigger. Because if you don't let us go, I'm going to the cops. And then everybody's gonna know who the real Saint Nick is. Everybody. Marsha, look out! Houston Investigations. Please, I need help. This Houston sounds like big trouble. Oh, a minor nuisance. Houston. He used to be very rich. Maybe his fortune away to charity or some such thing. No matter. Soon to be very dead. How is she? Stubborn, uncooperative, and about as lively as a brick. She'll come around by tomorrow night. What if she doesn't? Oh, I've spent half my career in court. Watching stubborn little nothings like our butterfly turn into docile little hookers. Like her sister, Marsha. Not so docile as it turned out. No, but then it didn't turn out so well for Marsha, did it? Oh, I used to feel sorry for the girls. Until I realized that they weren't really girls at all. Just merchandise. Do you remember when you used to be just merchandise, Melinda? says we're being petulant. We are being petulant. But no matter. By tomorrow night, you are going to be a bright-eyed picture of sweet innocence, aren't you? We're going to be the very best birthday present the state senator has ever had. 
aren't we, Butterfly? Maybe she needs some discipline. No, 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 not yet. She'll cooperate. That's because I can give her things she never knew she could have. I can make you beautiful and popular and desirable. I can even make you significant. Or I can kill you, just as I killed your sister. Keep me informed, Melinda. You know, Butterfly, you're going to have a very happy life. You're very lucky that St. Nick took a liking to you. He'll be good to you. You wait here, Annie. Yes, what is it? Hi there. I talked to a lady in the supermarket who said you are a fabulous acting and dancing coach. I don't teach in my I home. I have a darling little four-year-old daughter. We call her Bunny. She's got big green eyes and red hair. And everywhere I go, people say to me, Bunny ought to be in movies or TV or commercials or something. So I thought that I should talk to a professional person and get a professional appointment. I would have brought Bunny with me, but she has mumps. You know how that is. Butterfly. Why you send me? Come on. All right, Hoyt, I've got her. Let's move out. Another time. I don't think so. Send her a rest. Lieutenant Hoyt. It's my pleasure. Get a good night's sleep, little one. No more worries. CJ, it's my fault Marsha got killed, isn't it? No, Butterfly, it's not your fault. And you can't take the blame for what St. Nick did. But he did it because Master tried to stop him from turning me into a hooker. Like he did her. Sweetheart, listen to me for a moment. What Marcia did, she did out of love for you. And that's the best kind of love. It's unselfish love. I loved her, too. CJ, can hookers go to heaven? That's a pretty heavy question, Butterfly. Maybe I can answer your question with a question. Can a 16-year-old girl who lays down her life to save her 14-year-old sister go to heaven? We're going to miss you a lot. I'm going to miss you, too. Whenever you get the urge, you pick up the phone and you call. Collect. Thanks. I don't know how to thank you. I'll tell you what. You can thank me by growing up strong and happy, okay? Okay. You keep in touch, right? All right. I met her new foster parents. I see them like real nice folks. The absolute best.